Hi guys, well, I have been sprung from YouTube jail. Yes, it has been a week. It has been a week here, and uh, <laughs> as I have been cast adrift by the YouTube cop bots, and so it is now Tuesday. Good Lord, it was February, but I can write it is now Tuesday, March 2nd. It was one week ago today that, uh, <laughs> that I was finally, for the first time in 12 years, in what, 10,000 videos or whatever, uh, the plug was pulled on Hambone Whittletail uh, for one week. Uh, I, I wondered what video would it take, what would it take to get me uh, yanked down off of, off of YouTube. You know, for, for 12 years I have been advocating for the extinction of the human race. I have been advocating uh, for the forced sterilization of the human race. I am a cheerleader for putting sterilants and chemtrails in the public water system, in the GMO foods, in the vaccines, wherever we can uh, do anything to sterilize the human race. I have been uh, cheering it on. Uh, and it's unbelievable how few just individual videos I've had ripped down in my entire YouTube career. I might have had a dozen, you know, individual YouTubes pulled down. But it finally took the words of my buddy Mark J. Mark J. from West Bumblefuck, New Mexico. Let's give Mark J. a big hand for doing something that I have never been able to do. Andy the Gardener, you know, Andy the Gardener is a big promoter of uh, EMP attacks uh, to bring down global industrial civilization. Uh, but Mark J uh, has managed to do what uh, Hambun Little Tail, Andy the Gardener, uh, and, and all the rest of us working as hard as we can, spreading, you know, our little Doomer, uh, eco-Nazi, uh, Doomer porn ideas out there. Uh, no, uh, YouTube could give a flying fuck uh, about some goddamn uh, self-proclaimed eco-Nazi Doomer pornographer uh, you know, cheering on uh, every time the birth rate drops or, you know, uh, whatever. No, that uh, is, is, is holds no interest for the YouTube bots. Uh, being a champion of the collapse of global industrial civilization and the... And the uh, <laughs> and the human race. Uh, nope, uh, that goes right on past their radar. But uh, you talk about on YouTube and you will be yanked down. So anyway, uh, let's see if this gets me yanked down. I, I will make the no shit Sherlock prediction, guys. It will not be another 10 or 12 years. I guess I, the, the next time it happens, uh, I, I will join Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani, I noticed today, got his second strike. Uh, the next time one of my videos gets ripped down, I will be off the air for two weeks. And the third strike, and I am out, and uh, YouTube can just pull down all the videos uh, that I have not already pulled down off this site. And we can finally put Hambone Little Tail and Humpty Dumpty Tribe uh, out of our collective misery. And I can get back to doing something else with my life. 
But uh, anyway, let, let, so let's see if this gets me kicked off. So anybody who wants to know the comment, uh, the comments by Mark J that uh, crossed the line with YouTube, just send me an email at humptydumptytribe at gmail.com and I will forward uh, Mark's comments. The comment that finally got Hambone Little Tail yanked down. Uh, anybody who wants to read what Mark said to get me yanked off this channel, uh, send me an email, humptydumptytribe at gmail.com and I'll just uh, email you over and you can read them for yourself. Speaking of, uh, of reading these comments, so anyway, I, I guess it, it was COVID-19 medical misinformation that uh, I was charged with, uh, with spouting medical misinformation. So, you know, they sent me these long guidelines, uh, you know, to review your content. So I reviewed my content. The first thing that, that I was pleasantly shocked to see nowhere, anywhere in the YouTube COVID-19 medical misinformation uh, guidelines, do you see the word mask? The word mask does not appear. Uh, you know, that's kind of like, you know, having YouTube guidelines about talking about McDonald's without mentioning the word hamburger in the guidelines. So uh, I guess, according to the guidelines, you can say whatever the hell you want to about masks on, uh, on here. There, 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 there's no specific medical misin misinformation guideline that, um, that addresses masks. So I, I took Mark's comments that they found uh, just a, you know, that we were not going, the YouTube bots were not going to let anybody on this planet that were too subversive. I, I, I went down the entire point by point list. There was nothing that Mark J said anywhere in those comments that uh, violated it. one one you know specific point of their policy never never in his comments did did he mention anything uh, that that violated the policy so we were you know I still to this minute don't I have an idea the three words uh, that that the bots caught on I, I am pretty sure we isolated the three words out of uh, probably a 300 word comment. Uh, I, I was simply reading an email that Mark had sent me uh, and, and, and I think it were these, the, these magic three words that just went over the line. So uh, if you want to figure out what three words I'm talking about, I guess you'll have to send me an email because I want to see if you pick the same three words that I think it was. So anyway, uh, it has been a, uh, a, a, a long week. I have been dealing with this fucking, mostly dealing with this goddamn uh, gas-sucking truck that I managed to wreck in my own driveway. That was $3,500 worth of damage. Uh, the truck is still in the shop. I have not had my truck now for over two weeks uh, getting uh, the damage fixed uh, from having a, a wreck in my own driveway. That, that's eaten a lot of my time here at Crazy Crane Campground. So, uh, anyway, uh, what, what have we missed? Uh, oh yeah, we have some brand new news. The, the number one story on the planet right now, as of about one hour ago, 
Republican governor, Texas governor, Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott has pretty much rescinded every one of his lockdown measures. Uh, he has rescinded the mask mandate for uh, the state of Texas. I hear anywhere in the state of Texas, uh, according to the state government anyway, uh, the state governor, 100% uh, occupancy at restaurants, bars, live music clubs, whatever. Uh, I, I, I guess uh, Greg Abbott just couldn't stand it that uh, Florida governor, uh, Republican governor Ron DeSantis at the CPAC meeting, you know, going on down the street from me, you know, where all of those evangelical Christians are worshiping the, you know, the golden calf of Donald Trump and his American flag underwear. Uh, there, there's, I think that's called idolatry. Is that the word? Uh, that all of these, uh, these fundamentalist Christians down there in Orlando worshiping uh, a, a gold-plated Donald Trump wearing American flag underwear. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, uh, of course, my favorite speaker was none other than our esteemed governor here in Florida, Ron DeSantis, calling Florida an oasis of freedom is how uh, Ron DeSantis uh, characterized the state of Florida as all of this corona panic, complete fucking madness uh, overtaking this, this country and this planet that Florida and now I guess Texas and maybe South Dakota are uh, Florida an oasis of freedom, which is exactly what it is. Uh, thank you, Ron DeSantis. I, 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 you know, when Hambone Littletail is cheering on Ron DeSantis at a CPAC meeting of evangelical, clueless fucking moron Christians worshiping the golden idol of Donald Trump in uh, American flag underwear, you know we are fucked. Okay, when, uh, when Ron DeSantis uh, is the most sent speaking at a CPAC convention uh, in, in the home of Disney World it is the most uh, reasonable voice uh, anywhere in, in, uh, in, in the middle of this madness. Uh, that is exactly what, I, what Florida is, at least where I'm living. I, you know, out here, uh, I've been down here for over four months now in uh, this little, uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. You know, so in, in this town, uh, I have, in four months, I have actually had one of these fucking face diapers on my face. Uh, I would say a maximum of 30 minutes I have, I have worn one of these goddamn things. And that's mostly because you have to wear one at the library. So if, if, if you want to read a book you got to put on a face diaper. Uh, so other than the public library, uh, y y you know, all of the restaurants, 100% uh, occupancy, restaurants, bars, well, there's not a lot of live music clubs uh, in, in where I am, but there is some live music. Uh, you can actually find live music here. The grocery stores, fucking Walmart, Lowe's, you know, the big box stores. It's about, you know, it's a mixed bag down here. Uh, in, you know, where I'm living in Florida. Uh, 
wear a fucking mask if you want to wear a mask. If you want to wear a fucking mask, wear your fucking mask. If you don't want to wear a face diaper, don't wear a face diaper. Uh, you go into all of these places and you see all of the, the, these people, uh, half the people wearing these face diapers, half the people not wearing the face diapers. I have never seen a fist fight over this. Uh, I, I've never seen anyone get arrested, anyone getting shot. Uh, I, I have never gotten a dirty look uh, from anyone at the grocery store because, uh, you know, Florida is, is an open state. If you want to wear the fucking face diaper, wear the fucking face diaper. If you're nervous about getting uh, the, the corona panic, then don't go to the fuck, don't go to a fucking restaurant. Uh, you know, hide out uh, at the end of your little dirt road uh, out in the fucking swamp and just, to, you know, just sit there and cower in fucking fear uh, all you want to. Uh, I don't see anybody fucking begging you to, to come down there and join uh, these people who enjoy living in this oasis of freedom. Uh, nobody is begging you to come down and join us. You know, I, I mean, the, I, I'm talking to waiters, waitresses, bartenders who have gone right through this every day, uh, every day and night, uh, you know, packed in with, with how many dozens of people in, in these super spreader events. Uh, just going, it's another fucking day on the planet. Deal with it. Get over it. Uh, so anyway, uh, speaking of get over it, that reminds me of, 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 of what I wanted to talk about. I, I want to uh, thank uh, Brother Basil in New York for sending me this unbelievably, this YouTube video from comedian Dave Chappelle. I guess you know who Dave Chappelle is. Uh, you know, one of the things that um, I was talking about when I was reading those uh, comments from Mark is, is all about how, you, you know, all of this, this myth out there that the only people, the only fucking people uh, being anti-maskers and anti-lockdown and all of this shit are, you know, are, are right-wing, Trump-supporting, um, you know, flag-waving uh, people praying to the, you know, the gold-plated Donald Trump in his, uh, in, you know, in his, in his American flag underwear. The only people who would uh, call... Florida, an oasis of freedom, or some clueless fucking moron at a goddamn CPAC convention. And, uh, you know, as I was um, talking about, you know, my part of that rant was, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not buying it. I have, I have spent months trying to eradicate this bullshit myth that there are no uh, lefties uh, uh, being anti-maskers, anti-lockdown, pro-U.S. Constitution, uh, people who actually uh, enjoy uh, the freedoms uh, that are supposed to be offered to us, such as uh, the freedom of assembly, the freedom of travel, you know, um, you know those freedoms. Remember those freedoms uh, are, are, are a bunch of fucking right-wing, uh, clueless fucking morons. And, and what I was uh, saying last week in that video that I got pulled down, and I've been saying that I believe that there are a hell of a lot more lefties 
people who absolutely despise Donald fucking Trump uh, that agree uh, with people like me and Mark J. Uh, that there is, uh, is it a silent majority of lefties? I don't think so, but I do think there is a silent minority. There's a hell of a lot more people <coughs> agreeing with Ron DeSantis uh, than, than, than the fucking little uh, libtard uh, media uh, would, uh, would lead you to believe, which all gets me back to this Dave Chappelle video. I was just saying, you know, I, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Netflix, as we all have, and uh, you know, all of these comedians, these stand-up comedians, I have heard more stand-up comedians uh, in, in the past six months than I have in my entire life, and there is one subject you will not hear in, in any of these comedy routines, and that is the third rail of comedy, which is the Corona panic, it, it you just you just do not you do not make jokes about the Corona panic if if you are uh, if you want a career in comedy, there is no fucking humor uh, in, in the Corona panic, and uh, so I was absolutely shocked when Basil sent me this video of uh, comedian Dave Chappelle his latest routine. Uh, I don't know if YouTube's yanked it down. I'm not about, I am not about to fucking play that video. Unbelievable that, uh, and, and good for you, Dave Chappelle, for having the fucking balls to do this. And, and I wouldn't even call it a comedy routine. Uh, you, you might remember reading, uh, when was it? I can't remember. I do remember seeing the uh, stories that Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle, uh, to, let's just put it, put it mildly, Dave Chappelle is not a Trump supporter. Dave Chappelle probably despises Donald Trump uh, every bit as much as I do, possibly more, if it's possible to despise Donald Trump more than I do. But Dave is also, you know, he's one of these lefties who actually is a, is a friend of uh, the U.S. Constitution. And uh, he has been a vocal opponent uh, of these fucking lockdowns and mask mandates and, uh, and, and, you know, just saying obviously the goddamn cure for this disease is a hell of a lot worse than the fucking disease will ever be. You know, pretty much uh, Dave Chappelle, I'm guessing Dave Chappelle and I and Mark J and the vast majority of virulent anti-maskers I run around with, uh, we, we, we probably generally agree that uh, the, the, the fucking uh, cure is worse than the disease. So anyway, you might recall reading in the news that Dave Chappelle got corona panic. And so he's talking, you can find, I guess you can find this video on YouTube. As I say, I'm not about to fucking play the video, give you the link, but you can, you can track this down. Uh, so, so you, you, you saw the news that Dave got Corona panic a while back, but I never remember seeing the follow-up story. So Dave Chappelle, like uh, how many millions upon millions of other people, uh, got corona panic, and he was one of the people who actually got sick. And uh, you never saw the story after he caught it. Well, thank you, Basil, for sending me. So in his latest routine, uh, although this part of the routine what wasn't so much comedy, it was just a straightforward uh, basic rant. So he said, yeah, yeah, he, he got it. Uh, he got 
uh, he called it Rona. Uh, he, he goes, yeah, I got Rona, uh, I got sick, and I got over it. Now you get the fuck over it. I got it, I got sick, I got over it, now get the fuck over it. And, you know, what, what he said he was most astounded by, and I don't know why he was surprised a bit, was, you know, simply because he has been vocal, uh, you know, in his opposition, you know, being a, uh, a, a lefty, hip, beautiful person, famous comedian, you know, an anti-Trumper and, and all of that, and, and uh, in being opposed to these damn, uh, all of these various uh, over-the-top uh, overreaction to this bad hair day. Uh, so when he got sick is just the unbelievable vitriol he got. You know, basically from these haters that, uh, you know, basically telling, uh, you know, that, that they're glad that he's sick that uh, you, you deserve to get corona panic, and, uh, and I'm sure he had people, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, saying that, that he hoped he died and whatnot. And he, he goes, you know, I, I, I thought when you got sick, uh, people were supposed to say, uh, hope you feel better, get well soon. It, 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 you know, it was this outpouring of, of, of hatred that he got, and I'm assuming mostly uh, from these from these little lefties. I, I, I'm just guessing, you, you know, that uh, that fuck you, Dave Chappelle. Uh, we're goddamn glad you got Corona panic. Uh, you know, that was the most uh, shocking thing to him. And, and I, I guarantee you uh, that there are a hell of a lot of people, probably some of you motherfuckers listening to me right now, that hope to hell, Hambone Little Tail gets fucking corona panic and dies. That I deserve uh, to die of corona panic uh, because I'm an anti-masker. Uh, there and, and, and this is true of some of my former friends. I I, they, I know uh, I know of at least one person who would absolutely you know a, a, a former close friend of mine who would cheer if she heard uh, that I that I got corona panic and, and, and dropped fucking dead. It would make her day. Uh, I, I have no fucking doubt about this. Uh, and, and, and this is just where we have come uh, as, as a goddamn country, that this issue, this fucking uh, depending on your opinion of, of whether the cure is worse than the disease, you know, has just turned in to this fucking, uh, just this flashpoint. It, it, it is the single most divisive issue uh, I have ever encountered in 61 years. It, it, the, the, if, you, uh, if you question, particularly if you are a lefty, that, that tiptoes in to question the mainstream media uh, story on this. Uh, as Dave Chappelle, you know, pointed out, you will be fucking villain. You will be vilified. And uh, as he says, uh, he points that out. But the bottom line is, uh, I got it. I got over it. Now get the fuck over it. Get the fuck over it. And what I absolutely loved was the, 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 the cheering he got from that audience. Now, you tell me, was that audience uh, in that auditorium at a Dave Chappelle concert? I don't think there was a lot of crossover between the CPAC convention in Orlando, Florida, and that uh, Dave Chappelle uh, performance. 
but uh, I did not hear one person booing him. My guess is every single person in that uh, auditorium uh, cheering Dave on for saying, get the fuck over it, move on with our fucking lives. We need to get our fucking lives back. And, uh, and, and, and more and more people uh, are, are, are going to be uh, coming around to this, uh, these lefties. You know, you're going to hear more and more lefties uh, as long as we have heroes uh, like Dave Chappelle. We need more uh, Dave Chappelle's. I, I mean, little peanuts like me and Mark and whatnot. Uh, you know, we need lefties to step up to the plate and say it's time to get our fucking lives back. So anyway, uh, it is great to be back. Oh yeah, one more, uh, <laughs> one more. Isn't it uh, watching the uh, the fall of Andrew Cuomo? I I I have to admit, uh, I, you know, being able to enjoy watching the fall of Andrew Cuomo and, and laughing as much as the fall of uh, uh, of Donald Trump, uh, Andrew Cuomo. Uh, Yes, uh, poor, poor, uh, Er Führer Cuomo. It looks like Führer Cuomo uh, is having a, a bad week. It's been a bad week for Andy. Uh, I, you know, I really don't know. I, because Andrew Cuomo, until this came along, I actually liked the guy. I, I mean, the guy has enough balls to stand up to the fucking frackers. So as, as furious as I get at that little fucking Nazi uh, Andrew Cuomo uh, with his corona panic fucking bullshit, uh, well, that's the, it looks like he's going to be stripped of his corona panic emergency powers. And, uh, but you know, you better believe who's going to take full advantage uh, of the uh, of, uh, of the collapse of Andrew Cuomo are going to be the goddamn frackers. And that, being a New York resident, uh, ten miles from the Phila, from the uh, Pennsylvania border, that is something to panic about and um, speaking of New York, uh, you know, as much as I don't want to stay here this summer, guys, I, I enjoy living in the oasis uh, of, 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 of uh, the oasis of Florida. Yes, uh, and uh, just the thought of going back to Ithaca, New York, and dealing with all of these fucking little lefty mask Nazis. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, and enjoy this lovely evening. Those are, the, those are the tree frogs you're hearing outside. Get out there and... Uh, Enjoy your lovely evening while you still can, and uh, see how long it is before Humpty Dumpty Tribe gets ripped off the air once and for all. Bye, guys.